Hi, my name is Jacob, and you're watching Everywhere We Learn. Today, we'll be learning right here at home. I'll be showing you how to make a simple shooter game on Scratch. You can find Scratch in the link in the description below. Okay, so as you can see, I'm making our character. And this character will be a skeleton, or a medieval knight skeleton, I guess. Okay, let's just color him with some grays. Give him some arms and legs. Put a bit of detail. Let's name that player. Okay, now I'm making his gun. Because he's somewhat of a... I guess modern medieval skeleton? Okay. This gun that I'm going to make will be facing upwards so he can shoot enemies from behind. Let's put the... Let's see which part we should put it in. Let's actually center this before we do anything. Okay, let's put... Let's change the size to bigger so we can actually see it. Okay, there it is. Okay, let's add the bottom line. One, two, three, four, and then three. Let's put that up. Okay, let's put that all the way up. Okay, now let's make the mouth of the gun. Oop. Okay, let's fix that. Oh. And. Oh, I need to fix that. Okay. Let's put that there. Remove that. Oh. Put that there. Okay. So now we've made the mouth of the gun. Let's add the, no the mouth. Okay, let's color it with some grays. Okay. Let's name this actually. Let's name it up. Duplicate that. We can easily, like, flip it. Change it to down by just uh, pressing that button, as you can see. Okay, let's color this in with some grays. Light gray there. Maybe a bit of darker gray here. Yeah, I think that looks nice. Okay, let's duplicate that, name this down, and flip that upside down. Let's duplicate that. And let's start making the other one. This part I have a bit of trouble on, so I'll just speed it up for you. Okay, let's duplicate that, flip that, name that right. Okay, now for the code. Let's name that left. Now, you, as you can see, it moves all around him. And it doesn't go behind him or any, like, block. It, the player doesn't block it at all. Let's do the code first. Let's do when flag clicked forever point towards mouse pointer. And and go to player. Okay. If and is greater than or less than. Okay, let's put a direction in those. Okay, direction. Where is it? Here. Put that there. Put that here. Okay. As you can see. The gun does follow us, but it doesn't do it quite as we want it to. It's kind of a little bit off by a few degrees. So let's change it to no no moving around, no direction, so that it doesn't move around while we work. Okay. So now let's find what direction it is when we're here in the left quadrant. So in this left quadrant, we do negative 45 and negative 135. Okay, let's put that in. Then now we change our costume to left because this is the left quadrant. Okay, now let's duplicate that and do the right quadrant. 
we'll see the quadrant here. Let's do it. I think that's 45 and negative 135. I actually kind of mess up here, but because it's actually supposed to be 135, but I'll fix it later. Okay, now let's see for up. This is. Let's see. It is, I think, that. Okay, let's do the down one now. For this one, we have to actually for the uh for the gun pointing down, we actually need to change instead of and we have to put it an or, so that because of the direction system and on scratch, let's put that here. Oops, wrong place. Okay, that doesn't work quite right. So let's kind of change that. I think that's correct. Okay, let's find out. Yep, did it all correct. Ooh, see? The right isn't working, so I guess I'll just change that. There we go. Now it's all working. I guess now we're going to do the code for the player when green flag clicked. Forever. If. Oh, wait, no, not that. Um... Key, I think that is A. Let's do A. Okay. If A pressed, change X by negative 5. Duplicate that. Change it by 5, because now we're moving to the right. Change it to D. Duplicate that again. Remove that, and put that on. Okay, let's scroll down all the way to W. Where is it? Right here. Okay, let's change Y by 5, because we're going up. Duplicate that, change that to S, and make that negative 5. Perfect. Now our player can move around and move his gun around. Okay, yeah, that, wor that works all nice. Perfect. Okay, thank you guys for watching. Please don't forget to like and subscribe on this video or even share it to your friends to show them how to make a simple gun shooter game for movement and direction of gun. Thanks for watching. Bye!